So I'm gonna take care of this call really quick. We're in this bus that has some biohazard in it. And then after that, hopefully we'll be able to bring you that unboxing. Always double glove, especially if it's a biohazard, blood, vomit, garbage, anything biohazardous that comes from the human body. Duty chemicals, whoops, camera fail right there. If you're using any heavy duty chemicals, make sure to use a mask and take care of this bus right here. A lot of times people conceal what they've done on these buses by newspaper. You could be looking for blood, vomit, urine, feces. When we don't see anything throughout the bus, chances are it happened in the driver's seat. All right, so it's time. We are gonna unbox this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro, September. Got it a little bit late, but super excited about what's inside. Get ready. What's inside card? We got six baits this month, all very, very cool. Start with my absolute favorite bait that came in this box. It is the Rapala Scatter Wrap Shad Series. This is a very cool lure, sinks four to six feet deep, has a very erratic motion, and it is a peacock bass slayer. And I'm pretty sure it slays the bass, but I personally have used these on peacock bass and they work great. And I have been thinking about buying another one since I lost my previous one. So thank you, Mystery Tackle Box. I will be using this many times. Has a silver herring back to it, a very light chartreuse color to the bottom. This thing swims super erratic in the water, really sharp hooks on it. It has a split ring on the front that helps enhance that crazy erratic bait fish mo motion that it has. And this scatter lip that it has right here just scatters all types of water all around. This is a great lure and it is a must have for your tackle box. This is a Rapala. All right, second item out of the mystery tackle box is a four pack of shaky head football owner hooks. These are really cool. These bad boys actually have a little metal screw in adapter where you can screw in your worms to the head of the jig. Show you guys right now, right there. You would screw in your worm head all the way till it reaches the top. Great for finessing, great for right now in the heat of summer when you wanna throw a really light presentation, work it really slow. These jig heads are excellent. You can work them with your Senkos, with your larger worms, speed worms, trick worms. This works really well. And the great thing about this box, I'm gonna show you another bait. So this is the second bait out of the box, but it brings a bait that's perfect for it. It brings you a pack of yum watermelon seed color worms to try with this jig head. All right, got a work phone call there. Not important, not a call. So we're gonna continue doing this unboxing. Where was I? I think I was talking to you guys about the worms that came in the box that go really well with the jig head. These are a pack of yum sharpshooters. Uh, they are excellent for drop shotting jig heads or finesse Texas rig. And personally, I think they would work really well with this football shaky head jig that came in from the owner four pack. But these two products work really well together. So far, three really, really great lures that have come in this month's box. Can you guys tell how hot it is? I don't know. I don't have a flip out camera because I film with a GoPro, but geez, I'm looking at myself from my GoPro's lens and I am literally dripping like if I just got out of a swimming pool. Don't come to Miami in September. It is just too hot. Next item out of the mystery tackle box is a Skinny Bear Bass Jig. This is a square bill crank bait, 2.38 inch bait. This looks really cool. This is in a red color, which is really good for our lakes and our canals. Reason why I say that a lot of the bait fish in our lakes actually have an orangey red color to them. So I feel like personally, this would be a really good bait to throw at peacock bass that are hanging really close to banks. And you wanna work that bank line really tight, square bill crankbait, that'll work really well on any bass hanging on, on really shallow surface, you know, something like this, you could toss it and zig it right by them and more than likely you're gonna get them to strike that bait. Really cool. Again, this is from Skinny Bear. It has some rattles in it, but this is a really cool colored uh, crankbait. Super excited to try this out. 
Whoa. We're doing an outdoor unboxing, so you gotta keep a, I gotta keep my eyes kind of spread out. Got water right here, got the bank over here. Got some weird noise going on right here, and I don't like snakes. So, FYI, I'm just, I got the antennas on, listening for everything going on while trying to do this unboxing. Next up, from Doomsday Tackle, we got these really good Reaper soft plastics. These are really good for finessing. You could work these with a little jig. Um, we'll see how we use these, but a little watermelon jig right here with a little skirt will work really well with this. But this is a Reaper from Doomsday Tackle, and this is the Dirty Gill color. Really cool, very detail-oriented, really nice plastic. It's not super hard, not super soft. You know, very nice and stretchy. Nice, interesting smell to it. But I really, again, I really like these colors. This, this color actually works really well in our waters. This watermelon with a reddish flake color works really well on our bass. So I can see this working really well either by itself finessing it or attaching it as a trailer on a jig with a skirt. Really cool product from Doomsday Tackle Company. Last but not least, we got some, let's see, we got a swim, swim bait. It's kind of like a jig head with a hook. You can kind of twist them off and reattach them. Really good. This is the Stealth Pro Series. It's a half ounce jig head. Really nice white color tone to it. What I would, well, the nice thing is actually it comes with one with a little skirt that you can already pre-use. You could probably even add a trailer to it. But what I was thinking, I just recently picked up some swim baits for whether I'm out going snook fishing or chasing bigger bass. Swim baits are a really good uh, type of bait that you can use, especially now in the summer. If you want to work them and drag them kind of on the on the, on the the bottom of the, of the lakes and the canals and work them really slow, you know, something like this jig head would probably work really well along with that swim bait. You know, it's going to get you down on the bottom right away and you can either swim it the way you want to or you can just kind of drag it along the floor but this is from freedom this is the pro series half ounce jig heads so again guys every mystery tackle box comes with a dibble digest magazine really good if you're looking to learn some new tips and tricks from fishing they got a lot of tips and tricks in here so it'll help you learn more things when it comes to bass fishing so it's something really cool that you actually get with that you get the match the hatch match the hatch scratch off so you could try to win some more products and then you get the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Sticker when you get a Pro Box. But I believe they give you the regular sticker if you get the regular box. So this is the Pro Unboxing. I got six lures, uh, six total products this month. Really good items. Super excited to try them out. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, we really appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys leave us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend. And we'll see you guys next time on Bite the Bait Fishing.